We begin with the closed door questioning session of Choi Soon Shil, President Park Geun-hye's close friend and the woman at the center of the corruption scandal. Members of a bipartisan parliamentary committee investigating the scandal had to travel to a local detention center and squeeze into a cell to question Choi. Was it a productive outing? Park Ji-won starts us off. The session was held behind closed doors for two and a half hours, and only eight of the 18 panel members were allowed in. During the meeting, Che apologized for the confusion she caused to the nation, but denied most of the allegations against her. The chair of the special committee panel said Che hardly answered to any questions faithfully. Che Sun Shil said she is very much sick due to depression and cardiac disorders, and the panel had much difficulty in progressing the session as she hardly gave any sincere answers. The panel of lawmakers said she denied most allegations and said she does not know other key figures involved in the scandal, such as former senior presidential secretary Wu Byung Woo and former presidential chief of staff Kim Gi Chun. Lawmakers also said that Che said she's prepared for life imprisonment. They added that Che became very sensitive when she was asked about her daughter's issue. She cried when her daughter's issue was raised. She didn't seem to show remorse or be guilty on other charges, but she shed tears regarding her daughter's matters. Che's lawyer issued a statement that the session violates the court's decision that her client is not allowed to see anyone but him until mid-January. The committee said in response that it is executing the official duties of parliament and the visit was therefore not in violation of the law. Meanwhile, other six panel members held a similar closed-door session at another detention center with former presidential secretaries Chung ho Sung and An jong Bam. Park's former personal secretary Chung acknowledged that he regularly sent official documents to Che, saying President Park trusted Che a lot, and they too held frequent discussions on diverse matters. Former senior presidential secretary for policy coordination An jong Bum said he just followed President Park's instructions in regards to allegations that two government-linked foundations, the Mir and K Sports Foundations, forced big corporations to pay hundreds of millions of dollars in donations. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.